Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia the Dark Descent. So, in the last episode I've come down here to the machine room where we have to power up that elevator to go down and see Alexander Brennenberg. Um, and right now I'm kind of a little confused about the layout of this place. Guess let's just light up the area around us. First and foremost, that's probably the best. Why are these things, like, vaguely glow? But they're not glowing, they're probably just reflecting light. But for some reason they reflect the light as a different color. These big gears. They reflect the light and make it look sort of bluish? I don't know. It's awkward. Oh, I'll just light that up too. Still got 17 of them, so... We can totally do it. Alright, this thing, oh, this is a whole thing. And that's a thing. And that's a thing. Are these the things? I don't see anything behind them, so they're not things, probably. Um, is this a thing? I'm trying to figure out what's a thing. You know, I just have to keep track of all the things. Okay. Oh! Yeah, cool. Oil. Oh, boy. Look at this, look at this hiding place. Look at this deliberate hiding place. Look at that light that I should fit, put up there so I can conserve oil. There you go. <laughs> and one more. just like that. It's like we're freaking playing young Minecraft or something. Wait, young... What the hell did I just say? <laughs> Jeez. It's like we're playing a, a weird version of Minecraft where you have to build hiding places out of blocks. Okay, anyway. Barrel contains no oil. Alright. So what's over here? These are just... I don't suppose we can actually... This is... Oh, this is coal, I guess, for powering the thing. Wait a minute, can we actually... Hold up a second. Can we actually, like... Pick up coal with that? I'll experiment more with that in a second. I want to look at the other corner of the room. Like, with the tinder box and, uh... These boxes up here, which could hide goodies? Nope. I guess they don't. Okay. Oh, by the way... Can I... Oh, wow, that box just flew out of the world. Okay, not what I meant to do. I want to see if we can... You know what, actually, let's... Yeah, okay, let's pull this out. Put it right here. Pick up the shovel. I want to see if we can smash open these boxes with the shovel. Because I saw that next to the uh, crowbar we found... The crowbar was a uh, next to a broken box. So clearly we should be able to break them open at some point, but... I'm not sure. Okay, damn it. No, no, I'm trying to pick you up again. Alright, just... Ooh, this isn't easy. Alright. Okay, no. I don't think we can actually pick these up. Never mind. Drop it. We can pick these up, though. This is probably what we're supposed to use. Okay. And also, since there's really only one direction for monsters to come from, we can at least slow him down. I mean, he's gotta come, right? Gotta. Also, we can just put a couple boxes in the path here, so we can know how close he is. There you go. He'll have to knock through those when he enters the room, and then knock through those to walk over near our hiding space. So, okay. Let's put that there. We'll probably need it, I imagine. I don't know how this thing works. Do we have a note on it? I imagine we should. Machine equipment memo. 
Notice that there are only two spare rods left in storage, blah, blah, blah. No, okay. Machine elevator instructions, just levers. Note the machine will not check proper configuration, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we don't have any notes. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Okay, we don't have any notes telling us how to do this. Pretty sure I didn't miss any notes. Unless there's one in here. No. Nope, okay. Nothing to tell us how to do it. So let's just pull levers. There's nothing in the left in the burner for it to connect. Oh, okay. I figured as much. Let's put a few in there. Get a nice big fire going. Probably only needs one, but... It's more fun and realistic this way. There you go. Oh, we actually had to put three in there? Because it gives us the message the burner's not full of coal. Oh, and it actually lights them on fire. That's cool, too. That's very cool. Alright. Now what? This? The machinery needs more work before it will run. There are missing cogwheels to be lifted, to be fitted. Oh! Okay, that's a little weird, but okay. So we have to put the cogwheels on it. And those will... Okay. We need three. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. I think I know what's going to happen. I don't think there's going to be three cogwheels in here. We need to go back up. And that's when the monster will attack, won't it? I hope that's not annoying. Me constantly trying to predict when monsters are going to spawn and attack us. I mean, to be frank, it's only perfectly sensible to be prepared for monsters attacking you in a game where the only threat is the possibility of monsters attacking you. At least I think so. So, you know, sue me if you don't like me being prepared. But yeah, one here, and there'll be a third one in one of those other rooms. I think I just heard a monster. Did I? Was it my imagination? Okay. Maybe, uh, oh, slight headache. Maybe it was a hallucination. The cogwheel does not fit on the spoke. So we need a smaller cogwheel for that one? Okay. I don't suppose there's a smaller cogwheel in here. That would be a blessing. Or out here. Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay, so we need a smaller cogwheel for that one, then. Alright. Let's slowly make our way up, then. the door behind us. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know, uh... No, I'm not talking much. It's because I'm getting increasingly nervous. Okay, that's a cogwheel, but that looks too big. We tried one that was the same size, and it said it didn't fit that third wheel. Or third... spinny bit. So I imagine we must need a, uh third one. I mean, a smaller one. 
Hey, yeah, loading door to the right. Loading doors are always nice. They offer a safe haven if something jumps out at us. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, I don't see any smaller cog uh, cog pieces. I don't remember seeing one. So it's possible. All right. The the theory I'm working on now is maybe even though they all look the same size, maybe the game sort of just pretends that the uh, actual fitting for them is different. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Is it crystal clear yet? Thank you. Alright. Now, do we want to just hang out here for a second? see or hear anything coming for us. So I guess not. Okay. No mementos available. We just go to the elevator now, I suppose. Oh boy. Oh jeez. I think we should get out of here. Yeah, oh, we should get out. Post haste. Ow, stop! He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming in the medicine cabinet. Yeah, we already read this one, too. We already did. You damn repeating loading messages. Jeez! Oh, and again, path is blocked. They do not want us going back. Okay, fine. A slight headache. Are you kidding me? Seeing this crap... This... I really don't like this. I have to... have to point this out right for a second here. I do not like that the game, at times, straight up forces you to lose sanity. Basically, you know, forcing you to get closer to death. Um, by simply spawning things in front of you, where it's impossible to not look at them. You know, something like, uh, something like the, uh, that, that dr drawer that I opened, or not drawer, cabinet or whatever that I opened, that had skulls pop out of it, that's something that is fine, because, like, you know, if the player doesn't open that, then they won't get spooked. You know, so there's still some degree of player control over it. You know, and if you're playing the game for a second time, you'll know it's there. Um. And you'll know to avoid it. But stuff like that is just kind of, uh, man. Not cool. We're going down several floors. Um. Oh, and the stuff is following us. That's, that's nice. Totally unexpected. Oh. He unraveled the cloth protecting the orb. Alexander reached out, picked it up, and held it against the light. Cover it, he said. Keep it covered at all times. Oh, nice, uh, nice picture of Brennenberg Castle from the forest. That's cool. I like that. It looked nice and stuff. Okay. It's kind of like a darker, more destroyed version of the back hall that we were in. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Hmm. 
Also, a uh, nice little thing there. I noticed some of these were actually blowing in the wind during the flashback. So, definitely confirming that they are flower petals and not blood, which is actually far more interesting than just, you know, putting generic blood everywhere. Having it actually be flower petals makes it a little bit more uh, mysterious, I guess. Okay, so I guess we have to go this way. Oh boy! But going into a prison, slash dungeon, does not sound fun to me. I'm not looking forward to this. No, not one bit. I don't need the lantern on. I'm in candlelight here. Yeah, prisons have never once been fun in horror games. Even Resident Evil 4, which isn't all that scary of a horror game, except for a few moments, one of those moments is the prison. It's a very short section. It's very creepy. Okay. That affect our sanity too. God damn it. That's what I'm talking about. Like how are we supposed to avoid that? The game's just straight up saying you lose sanity now. We want the game to become harder. Jeez, um Yeah, kinda of surprised there's only like one section direction we can go though. To say. Oh, there's no thing there. Okay, what's to say? Cell area one. Oh, great, there's multiple cell areas. That's exactly what I wanted. Is something moving towards us? Okay, I don't like any of this. There you go. Nope. Okay, run. Screw you, man. Taking my barrel with me. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I don't even know if this worked. There really isn't any good place to hide. Oh, he's still there. Is he trying to leave and getting stuck on the freaking environment? Yeah, he is. God damn it. Uh Kidding me? This isn't cool. This isn't cool at all. Um, if he doesn't find a way to leave soon, I'm gonna have to like lure him back here and then run out and try to close that gate on him. God damn it, he's straight up. Did the gate close on him? The gate closed on him. And he can't get out. Oh shit. Oh shit, seeing enemies makes them spot me. Oh my god. Distract him with the noise, maybe? God damn it. He's he's not getting distracted hard enough. Oh. Okay. So he's just breaking down the thing now. 
All right, he's gone at least. That's nice. Only took him freaking forever. My sanity's been ruined thanks to him. Freaking jerk. So, don't go in that direction, I suppose. That direction being straight ahead. Also, real fantastic, uh, real fantastic idea making it so that enemies see you or become aware of you as you stare at them. And by fantastic, I mean I'm being sarcastic. I think that's a terrible idea. <laughs> it's not fair at all. Oh, this is a dead end. But it's got tinder boxes. So I will take those. Thank you. How many got? We got 17, and we're running low on oil. I think we can take one of these. Alright. Alright, Monster Man's gone and freaking fucked right off to wherever he came from. I think it's safe to explore around this side. Oh, what's. Oh, hammer. A hammer, no, but that's a freaking item, and. Every time we pick up items, monsters become aware where we are. Every single time. Not these items, I mean the, like, important items. Oh, whoops, no. Keep that down. Um, alright, you know what? I've got a plan. Pick up the hammer. There you go. Slight headache, so we're okay. Well, uh, you know what? Keep this on until we hear him. He doesn't seem to be coming for us. Alright. So we got a hammer. Let's read that. Hammer. A stone hammer. Great. Descriptive. Amazing. Fantastic. Best item description ever. Alright. Um. Yeah, this does seem like a good hiding spot, though. It's nice and dark, and it's got a door. So. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, damn it. Oh, Jesus. I don't like this. Okay, this is... Oh, jeez. Journal... Mementos. No mementos available. Okay. So we were at slight headache. And went all the way down to nothing. Just because we tried to go towards this door. Which is super hard locked. Thanks, game. Thanks. Alright. Alright. And that dude was up there, but that's the only direction we haven't gone yet. That door's locked. Unless the hammer can open that door. I guess we should try it. Yeah. Let's try it. Cannot use this item this way. Okay. Um. Oh, yay! Some sanity came back. Thank God. Again, it seems to... I guess just standing in light for a time 
has like a chance of making a comeback. I don't think it's like a guaranteed thing. That wouldn't make much sense. Because then he could just like potentially stand in the light for ever and ever. locked. However, the lock is very corroded and weak. Oh, okay. Cool. So that's probably what the hammer does. Where is she? Where did she go? No. I won't tell. I will never tell you. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Oh. Okay. So, I guess during uh, Daniel's stay with Alexander Brennenberg, he uh, worked down here or something? I mean, obviously he was, like, all over, but still. Alright, what's this? Picked up Chipper. Chipper? What? A stone chipper. Oh, we probably need both of these to get the door open. You put the stone chipper down on the thing, and then you hit it with the hammer, and it chips away. That's what the chipper's for. Chipper chips things. You know? Alright. Alright, let's get that door open then. Let's try using this just first. Cool. Let's immediately back up. <laughs> because we freaking can. Hammer chipper. Oh, I was supposed to combine them first, but it automatically did it for me. That's cool. Thanks, game. You did good, and I've got a slight headache. Not in real life, in the game, of course. Alright. Part of me thinks we don't even want to go down in that direction. Or in that direction back there. Oh. Oh, some oil. Interesting. Cool. Cool. And I guess, uh, I guess we could use this as, like, a really, really crappy hiding space, but I think this one's probably better. Oh, well, actually, that one, that room there doesn't have any light in it, and standing in darkness is better for hiding from enemies, because they can't see you as easily. So I suppose that room's actually a bit better for hiding. So, yeah, but this, uh, hammer, hammer and chipper here, um... It's a reusable item. It wasn't removed from our inventory, so we're going to use that multiple times. Because that room we just opened there, all it gave us was a bit of oil and uh, a good hiding spot. So it seems this is something that we're going to be able to use multiple times, and there will probably be some like other completely optional little spots that we can open up um, with this and uh, get rewards from doing so. So... That's cool, but we'll have to do that while avoiding the stupid zombie dude who's down here in the prison. This is, oh man, I hate prisons. Prisons suck. Prisons totally suck, but thankfully for me, I'm all out of time. <laughs> so, because I don't think my heart can take any more of this right now, so I'll see you all next time. I hope you've been enjoying it. I hope you will continue to enjoy it. I'll see you all later. Bye bye